YouTubers. Okay, this is gonna be kind of a quiet video because I'm in a hotel and I don't want people thinking I'm weird talking to myself. But I am here in Springfield, Missouri after a day and a half on a bus. I swear, it's the only time I actually was like, oh my god, I should have been on a plane. This is coming from someone who hates heights and hates flying. But yeah, day started out kind of crappy. Bus was an hour and 45 minutes late. Yeah, that was fun, sitting in a Greyhound bus station with flies. But I, I would say we did relatively good. Um, I did a lot of stop stuff. You know, we went from Phoenix to Glendale, Flagstaff, Gallup, New Mexico. I had no idea how to spell it. I only know how to pronounce it, so. Um, then we went to Albuquerque, Amarillo. I don't think we had a stop. I know we had a stop between Amarillo and, like, Oklahoma City, but they didn't really tell us where we were. And then we had another stop between Oklahoma City and Tulsa, but I don't remember. No, it was between Tulsa and Springfield, but I don't remember what the name of that place is either. But yeah, so a long day on the bus. Started around 1 p.m. yesterday and got here at 8 p.m. today, so yeah. Yeah, 19 hours on the bus. Not fun. And it's not one of those great Greyhound buses, like the ones with the gray seats and there's only like 50 people. You have what seems like a decent amount of space. No, this is the one with the blue seats and it's like crammed. I swear the worst thing to sleep in ever. And it sucks because I was like sleeping every two hours because we would stop every like two or three hours to the next stop or the next break. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad I get to sleep out of bed today. But now I got here, took a shower because I, I'm sorry, if I could smell like myself, I mean I need a shower. But did that when ate something. Now I'm back here gonna watch some cable since I haven't done that yet. Um, and then work on my costumes for Saturday and Sunday. Um, let's see, tomorrow we do our final registration at 11 a.m. And then, let's see, we have, I think, I think rehearsals at like 3 or check-in or something, and then we make sure everything's good at 7. And then the show starts at 9, but for all you people in Phoenix, it's mostly who I'm doing it for, um, it would be 7 p.m. your time, so... A little before 7 for you guys, I should be updating something on Facebook or something. Um, I haven't really updated Twitter, because I don't, I don't have that account on my phone, I have my other Twitter account. Um, didn't take any Instagram photos y as of yet, so if you haven't seen updates on that, don't worry, because I haven't updated them. Because, like I said, I mostly slept on the bus and there wasn't really anything to take a picture of, so. Um still hasn't quite sunk in that I'm here competing, mainly because everyone who's asked me why why I'm in Springfield, Missouri, I keep saying, oh, I'm here to visit friends. I told only one person why I'm here, and I really didn't care what he thought, because he was kind of weird. But, um, I did meet some cool people on the bus. Um, there was James, Jessica, Amanda, and Kendra. The one weird person out of everyone was Thomas. Uh, no, not Thomas, Travis. Travis was the pot-smoking Christian. Yeah, I will repeat that. The pot-smoking Christian. Yeah, he's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, nothing too exciting. You know, bus ride was long and miserable. My back was aching. My knees the way I was sitting was r rubbing into like the metal or the hard part of the seat in front of me, so my knees were aching. But I took a shower, I actually had some food, because during the whole entire trip, besides snacks, I think Amarillo, Texas was the only time I actually ate like a burger or something. But yeah, just gonna watch some cable, work on some stuff. 
Um, kind of excited to see how many people are actually competing, because I only know of two. <laughs> it's me, Anson, and Chandler, and that's it. So, I kind of want to see how many are here competing for this. And not only that, I kind of want to see who all I know on Facebook. But I kind of can't wait to meet people on Facebook be like, Oh my god, I finally met you. And I warn you now, I am as crazy as I am on Facebook. <laughs> but yeah, nothing, nothing too major. I know people are probably either sick of me updating my Facebook as much as I have or they're really, really happy. <laughs> um, I mostly did it just because my mom. I didn't want her freaking out thinking something happened because I know if I was like, oh, I'm on the bus and didn't update till it was in Springfield, I know she probably would have had a heart attack or something. Um, and I'd like to also thank every single person who's either commented or told me how much they're supporting me and wishing me luck and hoping I bring the crown home and everything. I would like to say thank you. I honestly hope I do too. Um, I will pub if I do win and do a vlog like afterwards, I'm probably going to be crying or I'm going to be like, oh my god, is this real? <laughs> um, but if I don't win, I'll still be happy. Because this is the first ever competition as a king I'm doing, so doing something this big is an accomplishment, so. But that's it for now. I'll do a vlog tomorrow after the show tell you how it went and everything um if i didn't do it on facebook or twitter so thank you hope everyone has a good night and talk to you tomorrow bye